Two more episodes until we do our first actual command. I want to talk to you guys about F3 shortcuts. Last episode we talked about what all this means, and now we're going to talk about all kinds of different shortcuts. If you press F3 and A at the same time, it reloads all the chunks. Very useful if you're in the middle of nowhere and the chunk just isn't loading. F3 and B is useful for seeing the direction of entities and their hitboxes as well. So if I place down this arm stand, press F3 plus B, you can see which way it's facing. So that's that blue line that's sticking out. So, um, well, apparently it's all facing the same way for some reason, but you can also see where their head is and this white stuff is their hitbox. So even if I kind of hit next to it, you can see that it still hits it even though I'm not really directly hitting it because the texture doesn't really matter. Next thing, we have a force crash. If you press F3 and hold down C for 10 seconds, it's going to crash your game, just in case you want that. F3 plus D clears your chat, so if I just fill this up with random nonsense, press F3 plus D, it all disappears. The next one, probably most the most important thing, is seeing item IDs. Now, as I hover over these items, you can't actually see their IDs. However, if I exit out of here, press F3 and H, and go back into here, you can actually see what kind of block it really is, or what the ID is. Now, this is very, very useful, because you can't memorize all this stuff, and it's useful to just have right here. And as you can see, you learn that things like a bone mill is actually a die with a damage value. Now, what do I mean by damage value? Well, that's those two numbers you see next to it. The first one is the main idea, ID and the second one is the damage value so you'll notice that these all have the same ID because they're all die except that final number is different so that determines the die texture and color and function. The next one is F3 plus P just toggles whether or not the game pauses when you lose control of the window. The next one is F3 plus T and that basically reloads all the textures and may cause your game to load a lot like mine is doing right now and it's completely crashed. Oh no we are back awesome and so we get F3 plus S sometimes your sound breaks and again this also takes some time to generate but sometimes your sound isn't working properly and F3 plus S will fix that rather than having to quit the whole game and then we have F3 and N which basically turns you from creative mode into spectator mode and then if you do F3 and N again it turns you back into creative mode excuse my Google Plus and then we have Shift and F3, or Shift and F3, there we go, and that gives you a nice pie chart of what is actually causing the lag in your game. So as you can see, the most of it is the display update and the game renderer and the tick. Now, I believe the tick is the um, command box, but don't hold me against that. Um, and finally, we have the most important thing, and one of them anyway, is a good graph of your frames per second. So right now I'm sitting at a nice 30. Well, it's not that nice for some of you guys out there, but if I absolutely lag the world, you will see that it starts to spike. So let's just summon an obscene amount of entities and see what happens to my frame rate. I'm expecting it to go down, if not, then that's okay. So let's just summon an armor stand right above, and we'll just have a lever here. Alright, and you will see that as more and more armor stands are summoned, my frame rate will start to go down. Um, as you can see, the entity count has gone up to 200 now, and my frame rate is now decreasing, and you can see that happening in the graph. Now, it's actually taking a lot for my frame rate to start to go, ah, oh, there we go. So you can see in the graph that my frame rate has gone down quite dramatically now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I have for you this episode. Next episode will be about managing lag and how to manage lag, and the episode after that, we can finally do some commands. I hope you're excited, and I will see you then.